welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Raida. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and make sure you do turn your post notification on so you know every single time I post. So you guys, I have been away from my channel for about a week since I got busy. Let me just tell you guys right now, this lifestyle of being a YouTuber is not easy. Honestly, before I started making videos, I thought, you know what? All you have to do is get in front of the camera and just record yourself talking. It's not that hard. It is actually easier said than done. YouTube is a whole process and that process itself sometimes can take way too long to get into, especially if you have personal things going on on the side, like working a full-time job or going to school. Nonetheless, I'm here this week, and this week's video, as you guys can tell from the title, I am gonna be giving you guys an update on my experience at placement for week three and for week four combined, okay? But before I get into that, I just kinda wanted to give you guys an update as to what has been going on with me how has the coronavirus been affecting me in terms of school? I wanted to give you guys an update as to what has been going on in my life for the past few weeks. Okay, so, so far I have two major dilemmas that I am overcoming in my program. Initially, I was informed by my school that my graduation would be sometime in June which would make sense because initially I was informed that I would finish the program by March 20th, which is this Friday coming up, and that graduation would be in June. I just got an email from my school and I actually had to speak with the administration. We were informed that graduation will not be in June, but in November. November, you guys, that is literally eight months away. It's annoying, it's a hassle. I'm not really trying to wait for a whole eight months to, you know, get on stage to receive my diploma or you know to, to graduate with the rest of the students or to celebrate with my family and friends. It is a bit of a hassle. So that's a little hiccup that I'm dealing with to be honest. I don't know if at this point I even want to go to graduation in November. By then it's gonna be a good eight months. I mean I'm gonna be well into the field and God knows what I'm gonna be doing then but I was a little bit disappointed. A lot of the students in my class are actually pissed that we have to wait for eight full months. Now the second hiccup that I'm experiencing is due to the coronavirus going around. So this past Saturday, I was actually supposed to write the OSMT exam, which is our licensing exam here in Ontario in order for me to work in my field as a medical laboratory technician. But because of the coronavirus going around, the exam has been delayed to June. Now keep in mind it's June because these particular exams are only done throughout the year, I believe every three months. So everyone that's supposed to take the March exam has been pushed to June. So we are gonna be taking our exam in June, which yet again, it's another hiccup. And it's annoying because now I have to wait for three whole months to write my exam, to get licensed, to work in the field, which is gonna impact me in terms of finding a job because sometimes a lot of the jobs do require that you have your OSMT certification. And so now this is gonna kind of push me back. Frustrated, but it's out of my hand and there's not much that I could do about it. So I'm just gonna roll with it at this point. So now that I have kind of explained to you guys what has been going on and the two hiccups that I'm experiencing in terms of my program. So I kind of wanted to go over with you guys what has been going on my placement for week three and four. Honestly, you guys, nothing major has changed. Week three was just like week one and two. The only difference is by week three, there is a sense of confidence that kind of kicks in. You know, you're more comfortable with the patients. You're more comfortable with younger kids that come in. You're more comfortable with taking blood from elders, like older people. One thing that I learned when it comes to older patients is that their skin is a lot more sensitive. It's obviously there's not a lot of elasticity in the skin. So when you're doing a venipuncture, you kind of have to 
pull down on the skin to kind of make it firm. You kind of learn to kind of hold down the skin with your hand, with one hand, and then kind of push the needle in with the other hand. Another exciting thing that happened in week three was that I learned to take blood from a four day year old baby, okay? Can you guys imagine how nerve wracking that was for me? For a baby to come into the clinic and to withdraw their blood it was terrifying because literally the baby was like the size of my hand okay super small super cute but the best part about it is obviously when it comes to little babies we don't take blood from their hands it's impossible so with babies um, the way we take blood is completely different from adults or you know children or like um, seniors we actually do take their blood from the heel of their foot. It's called a capillary puncture. And that's another thing that I learned. Now in week four, week four was my last week at the clinic. So in case I haven't told you guys this, I will tell you guys this now. My overall placement experience is for six weeks, right? So the first four weeks was at the clinic and the last two weeks will actually be at a core lab. So I'm at an actual lab, I'm not at a clinic for the last two weeks. And so for the fourth week of my placement, that was the last week at my clinic. And it was bittersweet, um, pretty much the same thing as week one, two and three, nothing really changed um, besides being more familiar with patients because there were some patients that do come into the clinic every week to get their blood drawn. So I was more familiar with those type of patients. But besides that, nothing really changed. Um, I mean, it was bittersweet when I was leaving. My uh, colleagues, as I like to call them, or the, you know, the two people that are working at the clinic, we became pretty close, very friendly people. So the clinic is only a three minute drive from my house. So like I said, it is bittersweet, but you know, once in a while I might stop by just to say hi. It's always good to network and make friends in the industry. But that's pretty much it. Um, besides that, everything else has been up to part. Um, last week, I started working in the main lab, which is the actual laboratory. And then this week coming up will be my last week in the lab. I will do a video on the experience of working in a lab versus working in a clinic because it is completely different. I'm actually really, really enjoying my placement experience because they gave me the opportunity to kind of compare two different settings. As a medical laboratory technician, I can work in a clinic or I can work in a core lab and see exactly how everything runs. So I will try to show you guys a video of what the actual lab looks like sometime in next week. So stay tuned. So you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions for me about anything regarding the field, do not hesitate to leave me a comment. I will definitely respond back as soon as I can. Um, and I will see you guys in my next week's video. Until then, bye.